What's up, everybody? Welcome to Otter Creek, Florida. Uh, this is one of the most isolated communities in the entire state. Very hostile to outsiders. In fact, I think somebody's burning toilet paper. You can smell it. Pretty nasty. Ooh. Welcome, to, welcome to the real, real like backwoods of Florida. So we're gonna go into Otter Creek. Um, there's a park here. Uh, there's a small town which is in bad shape, and this is definitely like the most backwoods, isolated parts of Florida. We're gonna drive through this town, which is not very friendly to outsiders. Um, this town's been dealing with a little addiction problem for the most part. A lot of the young people here have thrown their lives to garbage. And uh, we're gonna drive into town and show you guys what it's like. This is uh, in the Big Bend region of Florida. You can start to slow down a little bit when you get to town here. When you get to town, I'll let you know you can what to do. But there's not much out here other than uh, just poverty, meth, and isolation. Um, it's a really, really remote community. The type of place that doesn't like cameras and outsiders. So we're going to come up in here and show you guys what this town looks like. You can see there's a burnt down house right there in the woods. Um, back up a little bit. Look up to the house. I'm going to just uh, show you guys what it's like out here in, in these rural parts. So right here in the woods... There's like a burnt down, beat up old house, and you know, people come in here. And this is really, really. Um, if you see a car, keep your window now, you can talk to me. Mm -hmm. I want to go in there real quick and check that out. Stop right here, stop right here. You want to see it there? Cool. All right, guys, so let's go in there real quick. Um, keep your window down in case you need to talk to me. So, uh, the smell of smoke, people are kind of burning stuff. So, this is like really, really like isolated, like parts of Florida. Where you just uh, you want to be careful. I should be. I'll be really careful. I don't like outsiders here at all. This area is really should be wearing some boots for snakes. I gotta be really careful. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of abandoned, a lot of abandoned buildings and stuff like that out here. Um, this is just one of those places in Florida that's like really isolated. Um, you see this building just kind of collapsed here. Um, see the bones of I don't know if that's an animal or something. But uh, oh shoot, and I'm wearing sandals. See that's why it's dangerous. There's a nail right there. I just stepped on it. Luckily, I picked it up. Picked up my sandal, that would have gone right through my foot. Imagine getting that go right through your foot. I felt it hit the bottom of my sandal. So, check this out, y'all. I mean, you can see there's like part of a toilet over there. This is like really, really like isolated Florida out here. This is like, this town's got a lot of abandoned buildings. And when you explore these sites, you gotta be really careful. As you noticed, my instinct was just to almost know to lift my sandal up when I felt that. I wanna get a look at what's inside this building. But there's these planks everywhere. Somehow my instinct was to almost instinctively know to lift my sandal up at the right time, but I hear sound systems that are coming in these people in this area. They are not fond of outsiders you can see it's just kind of a um really cool but it wouldn't take much for this building to just tip over let's get up out of here i can hear a truck coming and like i said i know this area here from my past experiences people are not they are not fond of outsiders you can hear like a really loud truck coming so let's get up out of here. I know for a fact from my past experiences that you don't want to, people here are really, really standoffish because there's a lot of math and stuff like that going on. Let's go. Almost got hurt. What happened? I literally stepped on nail. Oh, that's not good. Know, good thing I moved my foot at the right time. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> your windshield wiper. You got like fog. Okay. That winded you out? You know, you're not healthy either. Okay, so when you get to the town, you're gonna take. So go slow. There's no need to rush. Oh, this is the windshield's on that. That's why. Okay. You see, there's like an abandoned boat right here and another abandoned structure. Looks like somebody's just kind of made a little hinge in right there. So, this is the town itself, and I know it doesn't look like a town, but this is the town. As crazy as it sounds, this is it. You're gonna go that way. You're gonna open your open this way. Right there. There you go, and then go that way. Um, we've recorded here in the past, but it's what I call my lost files. Um, back then, we used to use the GoPros, and unfortunately, uh, with the GoPros. Stuff happens. Um, you can go. Well, GoPros are not reliable, but uh, for the most part, it's just a bunch of like really, really isolated parts out here. Um, and like I said, the addiction thing is really down number. There's a lot of smoke in the air, and kind of the, we're facing the sun. Keep moving faster so you can take. Uh, not on this tree, but the next one you're gonna take a left. Not this left, but the next left you're gonna take it. You know, this area, a lot of people have moved out. And uh, as people have moved out, addiction's taken over. Um, you're gonna take a left here on Creek. Creek 305. Crime Watch area, they have signs for Crime Watch. Um, this is their this historic abandoned, district. Abandoned uh, houses on both sides here. Cause like on this side, it's nothing but abandoned houses. Like you can barely make them out in the woods. Now, this is definitely like the most backwoods, isolated parts you're gonna find in Florida. I did a really nice video here one time, and unfortunately, um, that's you know like stuff we lost basically. But there's abandoned houses. Like more, there's more abandoned houses here than the not abandoned houses, and most of them. Are kind of in the woods. You're gonna take a left here. Uh, take a right if you're adventurous. I said they're gonna take a left. But uh, I mean, this is just there's like junk and abandoned houses in all directions in the woods. Um, there's actually a park here, but probably gonna pass on that. Mm -hmm. It's nothing but like abandoned houses all up in the woods. If you look carefully, like all through these woods, is nothing but abandoned houses all through there. And sometimes people, you know, if they own the land, you don't want to go into them. So you got to be really careful with the whole private property thing. Um, not to end up. But as you can see, there's just like in all directions. You look, there's abandoned structures like everywhere. Like this was a um, a very functioning town at some point. Not anymore. You'll get a better view of the town now we swing around to, to the right. Um, now that the sun's not in our face. But these are the parts of Florida where you just, if you're a tourist, you're just better off not coming through. Lots of abandoned structures and stuff. And you're going to take that road going straight ahead. This one over here? Yes. Yeah, take that going that way. Okay. But this is definitely like, that's for sale right there. Now, this is that place where if you move here and you're an outsider, you'd have a little bit of a take the left there. Okay. Take that left there. And last time we were out here, we had people following us around in trucks. Like that's how like that's how it is out here. Like if you're like if you're not from here and you come through here, like you'll have cars follow you around and stuff. It's like really pretty hostile place to come. Mm -hmm. Probably they notice that we're coming through here when we're not from here. Uh, you can even hear like people shooting their guns. You're gonna go straight in that trail right there. Okay. And at night, the mosquitoes here are intolerable. I mean, this place is pretty much as you know, you're, you're close to the forest here, so it's pretty much like intolerable um, as far as mosquitoes and stuff like that go at night. 
But yeah, this is like the real backwoods of Florida. Like, I came over here and I did a video that was pretty brazen, actually. Because I went in and I explored some buildings and stuff. And that went to crap. Because, um, the GoPro messed up. So I'm glad to be back here again. And that time we got followed around by, by two trucks followed us. They're like, what are y'all doing here? You can't be here. There's a bunch of young kids, like you can tell they're totally left out, no dumping signs, so if I had a problem with people dumping garbage out here, beehives. So what we'll do, there is a, a gas station here, we're gonna drive past that here in a minute. You're gonna go ahead and take a left here, a right, and then another right. So yeah, these are like the real backwoods of Florida, like this out here. It's just on a dump. This is isolation on top of isolation on here. Great fishing out here. We used to come up here and, and fish these creeks and rivers and stuff up here. Um, there was a time when I was into fishing a lot more than I am now. And so once we go into the to the quick shop, <laughs> then you can pull your turn at the intersection. So you're gonna pull into the right. Okay. Where the red roof is. And there's actually an abandoned building before that. If you want to slow down, we can kind of see that. The way behind you. We can record that. Uh, there's an abandoned building right here. And you can keep going straight ahead. We'll record that quick stop right there. And then you can pull a U turn at that light. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a little corner store. Hershey's Quick Shop. this and you can probably just go around that way and then pull it on the turn in there smoke mullet <laughs> there's a lot of smoke mullet in this region yeah. well there it is guys just showing you guys the real florida the places that other youtubers don't know about and if they know about they are probably They're scared about go 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 don't let the semi cut you off let the whole semi cut you off woman and we're uh 33 miles from gainesville these two white cars you could probably go because that one's turning go 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 start moving start moving start moving start moving go 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 start moving go 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 that way go go there you go and we're on 19 and 98 heading north yeah i mean this is really really like remote regions of florida 82 miles to perry like you're 82 miles to perry if you keep going this way which is a small town so between here and perry there's pretty much like nothing it's the middle of nowhere this is absolutely like the most, you can go like 65, 73 here. Remember I fished this creek right here, Otter Creek itself oh, yeah. right there? Yeah. You and your dad. Yep, we fished right here. Yeah, we brought that up here. How far did we go from on that trip? Um, I think about this far. Yeah. yeah, there it is guys. Exploring the real remote places of Florida. Places most people don't even know about. Otter Creek.